I'm Sam. And we are Love to Hate. We're back again with a playthrough video. Uh, this is uh, Mariposa from AEG uh, by Elizabeth Hargrave. And uh, we have it on the table here. We're going to do a two-player playthrough. We are Love to Hate, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the board. Okay, so here we are. Um, I am going to be the blue butterflies while Sam is going to be the white butterflies here. Oops, those are kind of hard to hold on to. Um, the end of, uh, or excuse me, the life cycle uh, benefits, I guess, uh, what you call them, that we have in play for this game. If we can have a complete set of green life cycle cards, we will get one point and one point for each new butterfly we hatch. Sam, if you'll hand me those cards, let me get these on camera. Yeah. This is top one or all? All three, yeah. So this is that one. You get one point and one point for each butterfly you hatch. Um, if you can get the red set of cards, you get to take an extra turn at the end of fall. And if we can get blue, we will get one point immediately and one of each flower petal. So those are the uh, ones that we're playing with. As you can see here, the spring goal card is two butterflies north of Lawrence on red spaces. We'll get us six points. And two butterflies east of Houston on orange spaces will get us six points. I will be the first player. And so I will go first. And I'm going to play, I think I'm gonna put my cards here. Um, I'm gonna move a butterfly one space uh, up to three times, or three butterflies one space, but I only have one butterfly, so I'm gonna go one and take one of those, two, and three. And I draw a new card. Sam, your turn. Um, I'm going to play that one. Okay. So you can move one space, collect a, pe a petal, or move three spaces and collect a petal. Doing those in either order you want. But I can do, I do both. You do both, oh, okay. yeah. Um, I do one, two, three. Okay, so you'll get that red looking one. And then one more. Yeah, that one. Okay, and you are next to a um, milk thistle spade, or milkweed, excuse me, but you don't have the right kind of flower petals to reproduce just yet. How, how do you know what kind of flower petals you need? You just have to have two that are exactly the same, or any three, to get a generation two butterfly. Okay. I I think I am going to play that. Moving four, collect the petal from an adjacent space. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and land in Houston. And that gets me the very top green card over there, Sam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this card uh, lets me add a plus one separate movement. So like an additional one of these onto a card that I play. And I'm the first one in Houston, so I get to roll the flower petal die. And I get one of those. And I can claim something from an adjacent spot. I think I'm going to take another one of those. And I will reproduce. Uh, I'm going to turn in both of those to take my number two butterfly and put it on top there. And that is it for me. Or wait, I am not adjacent. Never mind. I thought I was, but it's those three. So no, I won't do that. Trying to cheat. I was trying to cheat, um, but I still draw a card. Okay, you're up. I'm gonna play this one. 
All right, so you can move five. Holy cow. One, One two, three, four, five. You're gonna go straight to Amarillo. What do you get? You get a blue uh, caterpillar. Uh, yep, one of those. And you are the first to Amarillo, so you get to roll the flower petal die. Uh, this thing. And you get the sunflower looking one. And draw a new card. I'm going to reuse an action card that I've already played, and that will be um, this particular one. Moving one space, stopping, moving another, stopping, moving another, stopping. Uh, I am going to go here and get one of those. I will go here to New Orleans, and I get any flower petal I want. So I'll take a sunflower looking one and I will go there and get another sunflower and I will reproduce this time because I am next to milkweed and turn in my two sunflower ones to take my two and I have reproduced. Your turn. And just so um, everyone out there is watching is uh, clear on the rules, you don't have to move in a linear direction you can move any direction you can come back down you can move left right there's no right or wrong movement in this game i think i'm gonna do this one okay it's the same so, card i just played oh. so one two And while you're there, you could reproduce now if you wanted to, or you can move again, and if you're still next to that thing, you can reproduce. Right. Okay? So what did you get? You got the uh, cocoon, the blue-looking cocoon one. Or I don't know what it is. Oh, no, that's the egg. Okay? And you're the first to Lawrence, so you get to roll that. You got the red looking flower petal. Do you want to reproduce? Yes. Okay, so pay two of the same or any three. Just put them over there. And then you're going to grab, you always take your reprodu reproduction butterflies off these cards first before using them from your supply. So okay. put it where you were there. Okay, and now we reveal the goal card for summer. And this one says you have to have three butterflies and have no butterflies south of Amarillo. So south of Amarillo will get you five points. So none. Yeah, you, you have to have three butterflies on the board, at least three. Uh, but none of your butterflies can be south of Amarillo. Uh, Quebec, um, if you have any butterflies around Quebec, which Quebec is going to be uh, way up there, Quebec City. So if you're in that one of those three or four spots, then you get three points. And um, this one says immediately get two points if you make a butterfly anywhere between Richmond and El Paso. So kind of in this central region right here. But that's only in summer. We're still in uh, spring for one more turn. Oh, I didn't draw a new card after I played last time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to play another one of those. I'm going to go... One, two, three, and I'll take one of the red egg looking cards, 
And I am going to reproduce again here. I'm going to pay these two white looking flowers and get me another tea. Your turn. Sunflower looking. And I can reproduce, right? Yes. So you're going to reproduce, giving you a. Well, that's your two. Did you, did you mean to do your one instead? Does it matter? Well, you would need three to make a two become a three. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to switch those back around. And now you'll take your two, your other two out of there, and put it on top of your one. Okay. So okay. I just one part of it. Yep. And I want to keep going with this one. Only move one of them. Oh, okay. Like that? Yep. And that's Minneapolis. And you have got yourself the middle green card over on the far end. Nope. Yes. And so that is a special card that you can play that lets you move one butterfly three and another butterfly two, or you could move the same butterfly on each of those movements. And it's just another one of these. Huh? It's just another one. What makes it special? Because you could you can split the movement between two butterflies. Oh, I thought you could do that with that. Yes, you, you can. The card you just showed me, the one that's in your hand. Oh, I just meant why is it different than any any of these? It's what makes it's it different. It's more powerful. Oh, okay. Generally, these cards aren't as powerful as the ones over there. Uh, okay, so that is a draw a new card, by the way. Um, so that's the end of spring. And so we place all the action cards that we played this round into a discard pile, which we'll keep over here. And we score the spring goal. So uh, if you had two butterflies north of Lawrence on red spaces, unfortunately, you only have one. Because that is on a purple city space. And so that, you don't score for that one, neither do I. Um, two east of Houston on orange spaces, and I do have two there, so I score six for that. And uh, we determine summer's first player is the player who has the fewest points at the end of spring. So that will be you. So you are first player. Um, we don't hatch any number two butterflies because we've already hatched them by taking them off the summer card. And we do remove our generation one butterfly because they have died. Butterflies don't live long. And now we're ready for summer. So it's your turn. Get your flower petal first. What is it? It's that one. Okay, so it would cost three of the same to reproduce. You just put them right there. And you get to put a three on that one now. It's that one. Alright, and draw a new card. I'm going to play that one again. I get a lot of those. Um, I'm going to go right here and reproduce, giving me one point because I'm in between Richmond and El Paso. So I'm trading in those three for a generation three. Come back. Oh, wait. We take from here first. Sorry. Um. So here, just put that one back in your, your box. And that gives me one point, or two points. Why? Two points for hatching a butterfly anywhere in this region right here. Uh, and that was one movement. 
My second movement will be to go there, get one of those, right? Uh, yeah. And I will go. there get one of those and trade these three in to hatch another butterfly your turn this one sorry yep um, let's see. Mm, so people can see it. You keep doing it. She's going to move one butterfly two spaces and the same butterfly or a different butterfly three spaces. So you get a red cocoon and you get to roll the flower petal guy. You got a pink daisy or I don't know. I don't know flowers. And then move one three spaces. Okay. Do you want to reproduce? Yes. Can be any four. It can. Okay, so you're trading in four and use this one right here. And you're gonna put it there. Okay, so now we can reveal the fall card. And uh, one point for any butterfly east of Atlanta. Uh, immediately three points for any butterfly north of, Al or excuse me, for any hatchling, any uh, reproduction north of Atlanta. That's a bit of a tricky thing because if you're east of Atlanta or north of Atlanta, you're obviously not getting back down here to, to yeah, Mexico. The goal is to get back here, yeah, right? Yeah, right. So that's, that turns. that's yeah. tricky. All right, so that was your go. And, um, oh yeah, draw another. That was oh, you, that, you did your special one, that's right. All right, I am going to I'm going to play this in addition to that. Um, adding a plus one separate movement to this card. So I'm going to go one. and reproduce. And that gives me two more. And two. Uh, it's that kind. And one, two, three, making it to Richmond. She gives me a green butterfly card. Yes. And I get to roll the die. And I get a red one. And that is it. Your turn, Sam. What's the difference between? That lets you take a flower petal that's adjacent to the space you land, whereas this one you just have to take from the space you land. You need way too much forethought for that one. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Let's see if we can play this one. It's five. Wow. And then this two. Did I do that? Yeah. Go over. Mm hmm Okay, so we can get you a purple looking one and you could. I could, but I don't have any. You don't have enough. Um, my turn. I will go. One, two, three. And one. Your turn. Remember, if you ever have both of the same card, you can trade in one or both of them for new cards. They're close. Oh. Man, another big problem. One, two, three. Four, five. Don't want to go to Chicago? Hold up, oh, I was here, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Still not going to Chicago. I need flowers. Well, you get a flower if you go to Chicago. You just might not get the one you want. Plus, you get a card, which is worth the point. You get a green egg looking thing and you get to roll the flower petal die. Anyone you want. Oh, good. See, worked out. And you can reproduce if you want. I don't have enough. Yeah, you don't have enough. Uh, draw a new card. Oh. And let's see, we've got one more turn after this. Um, I'm going to go one, two, and one, two. And I will get a green caterpillar card. And any flower that I want. Your turn. I'm going to play this. It's just what I've been waiting for. <laughs> and I'm going to go one. Okay. Two. Did you want to reproduce while you were there? Now. Okay. So paying the three purple looking ones, getting yourself a three. Okay. Very nice. I'm going to go. One to Boston. I'll take a red caterpillar. So what's my goal with these? To get all of the blue? Or the well, green? each one of these is worth one point um, at the end of the game. And if you complete the set, then you get the bonuses that we talked about at the beginning for whatever set you completed. Well, you have no idea what colors underneath all of these. It's just luck. Well, just because they're flipped over doesn't mean you can't still go over there and get them. You just don't get to roll the die. Oh. So you could come here and get a red You did egg. not explain that part. You well. It's not these are one and done. No, no, no. This is the one and done. 
Um, that was one. I still have two more. Well, I got this one, so you need to turn it back up. You never went there. Oh, I did it? No. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Cheater. I thought I got that one. No. Well, that's my <coughs> payback for you not explaining that part. Oh, is it? Yeah, now I know it's there. Uh, I'm not going to get to Quebec. Or well, no, I will. One and one. And that's the end of the round. For me, um, that this is the end of summer. So we discard all of our action cards. And uh, then we score the goals. And so Sam, you do have three butterflies. You have no butterflies south of Amarillo, so you get five points. Um, I have at least three butterflies. And the line would go like this. So I have none south of Amarillo, so I get five points. Uh, three points if you're anywhere close to Quebec. I do have one there. And then uh, we already did that throughout the course of the round. So that is the end of summer. You are still first player. We remove all Generation 2 butterflies from the table. They have died off. Okay, and I didn't draw a second card from the previous one. And for fall, again, it is one point uh, per butterfly uh, that is east of Atlanta. And if you hatch any butterflies north of Atlanta, anytime this round, you get three points immediately. You go first. Where's Atlanta? Atlanta's right here. Again, if you can get any Generation 4 butterflies back to Mexico, mm -hmm. you get points based on how many you get. I'm going to try to get this one back, I guess. Oh, it's not a 4 yet. Oh, well, maybe it'll become a 4 on the way home. You went 5 spaces. Oh, that was five. Nope. And I can I can get the flower adjacent, so I can get that flower, right? You may. Yes. Oh, that's not the one I want. Hold up. What about that? I don't know. <laughs> I think you might have been there. I, actually, I think you. Is it right here? I think you were there. Yeah. Because you reproduced and you were next to Chicago. Yeah. Or maybe you were on Chicago. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> don't move your butterfly before you know your plan. Truth. Okay, well. Okay. Man, why do I keep thinking that's the one I need? It's not the one I need. What are you what are you aiming for? I'm aiming for? for one of these and I keep getting confused with one of those. Okay, well. God. One, two, three. Oh my lord. There. <laughs> you just yeah. single handedly yeah. destroyed all the monarch monarch butterflies in America. Draw a new card. Alright. I'm gonna play that. And north of 
of Atlanta. Okay. So I'm gonna go one. Ah, oh, no, it's not. Alright, well, I'm gonna do this first. One, two. And I'll take a blue butterfly. It's not what I was hoping to do. And I'll take uh, one of these. And then I will go... One, two. And I will reproduce. Turning in four of those for uh, number four. That is north of Atlanta, so I get three points. One, two, three. Your turn. One. Green or uh, blue cocoon. And you roll the die. One of the white flower petal. No. No. Yeah. So. Okay. I will play that. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And I can take from adjacent. I'm going to take uh, that one there. And I will reproduce. I will turn my four into a double four. I have four that are the same. And there's a double four. And I get three points because I'm north of Atlanta. Did you draw the new card? Yes. You did? No. <laughs> All right, your turn. And this would be three separate butterflies, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so that becomes a four, and you are north of Atlanta, so you get three points. Can I move this one again? Yeah. Gives you three points. Draw a new card. I'm going to reuse that move four. I'm going to go one, two, three. Your turn. Okay, I keep drawing the same card over and over and over again. Um, one. Two. 
Did you want to reproduce? I can't. Oh, okay. Well, that one could have. Can I reproduce it now after I moved that one? Can I go back to that? You one? could theoretically said you moved this one before you moved that oh, okay. one. Then so yes. 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 Okay. So that'll be a double four? Uh yes. If it was already a four, I can't see yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and you get three points. Draw the card. I'm going to move five. One, two, three, four, five. Your turn. So what do you get if you get all, all of these cards again? The bonus at the end of the line. So what's this bonus? That was one point and one of each flower petal. Okay. Trying to figure out if it's worth it. Uh, the one blue card you're missing is the blue butterfly. I know, and it's right up there where you are. Oh, shoot. So I'd have to go all the way there. Was it worth it or is it worth more to just get back? Well, you're kind of running out of time now. How You've got turns? two more turns. That's me. Oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't draw a new card. Because I guess even if I get one of each flower, it doesn't really do me any good at this point. No, not it's really. all fours. Yeah. Okay. Done. I mean, it, it's worth two points for yeah. you to do that. And take adjacent. Okay. Draw a new card. I have two of the same. Okay. So I'm going to exchange one of them uh, for a different card. Play that. I'll go one, two, three, four. And can you hand me a plus one? Or actually, you know what? I have one over here. Uh, and I can take adjacent. Your turn. I'm going to replay that. Four. Okay. And you could reproduce if you could. I can't. Okay. Oh, this is the last round, by the way. I am going to play this five with a plus one. There's my one. One, two, three, four, five. And you want to be done. That is it. All right, so the end of fall, we score uh, for the fall card. So one point for each butterfly east of Atlanta. I've got three. Uh, and then we've done that one throughout the course of the game. And then we score points for, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, Michikoan? Mich I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to try. Uh, so I had one, two, three, worth 12, uh, and that would give me 41. And that is that. We forgot the uh, way station life cycle cards here. One point for each card. We both had five, so that doesn't really change anything. That moves me to 46.
and it moves Sam to 19. All right, so that was Mariposa from AEG and Elizabeth Hargrave. I uh, hope that was uh, entertaining for you guys, informational, let you guys know how the game worked. Uh, if this is a game that you think you might like, like, excuse me, check out the link in the description of the video. It'll take you to a place where you can buy it. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. We are love to hate. We like to try and bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. Uh, and maybe Mariposa is a game that can do that for you guys out there. Uh, we will be doing a review video on this game, and so be on the lookout for that in the very near future. I'm Lance. I'm Sam. And we are Love to Hate. We'll catch you next time.